about the economy today. I don't, I don't think we could have a crazier year. You know, last year when we did this virtually, I said we'd never have a year like uh, 2020. Uh, it's not the same, but 2021 has certainly uh, turned out to be a very roller coaster year for business. Uh, this was a slide that we used in 2019 when we talked about what we were all dealing with, that we were dealing with complexity that we had never seen before. There was disruption across all of our industries and things just seemed to be moving faster. There was acceleration. Well, there's no doubt that uh, COVID has accelerated things even more. The technological challenges that we thought we were having in 19 with AI and the internet of thing and blockchain and robotics, they've been accelerated. They've moved forward. They're still part of what we do. The social changes with uh, falling fertility rates and mobility issues, they're more than they've ever been. Uh, you know, it, it, it's hard to remember now with work the way it is that in 2019, we couldn't find workers either. The, uh, the scarcity was our issue then. Uh, people were moving into gig economy and they were more remote. This was all a slide from 19. And, uh, and then the global issues, uh, cybersecurity, those of us down on the coastal area of North Carolina, had a, a cyber impact this year with gas. We've all had weather and resource issues. And then down at the bottom was this idea in 2019 that sometime in the future, we might get impacted by a pandemic. And uh, that has certainly proved to be the issues as we've moved forward. When you uh, look at the metro areas in North Carolina over that 10 year period, you can see the, the three uh, metros, the Burlington, the Greensboro, and the Winston-Salem metros all growing uh, at different rates, uh, not leading the state, that's Raleigh and Charlotte, as we know, but steady growth. Uh, and we have a state where the metro areas have, uh, there, are, there are ones that have lost jobs during the last 10 years. So uh, the triad and the Carolina core areas growing pretty steadily, but not leading the state in that. Okay. When we look at the metros, obviously everybody took a hit during uh, the February uh, through recent data. Uh, in the in the triad, a little bit different. Greensboro taking the, one of the, the higher hits. As you see, Asheville took most hit in North Carolina around their uh, their economy that's uh, based on uh, leisure and tourism. Probably a major reason. Some of the places that are uh, more uh, uh, like Greenville with academic uh, location, Durham, which has helped in academics, less of an impact. And when we look at similar size metros around uh, the South and uh, the rest of the country that we compare ourselves to, you can see really mixed bag, everybody uh, losing jobs, but uh, different paces of losing those jobs.